We'll have that report on the Commerce Building, but first, a special report. New Mexico approved the use of medical cannabis in 2007, and now some producers are planning to open a retail outlet in Curry County. ABC 7's Adria Arajita spoke to the growers and joins us now with more. Adria? Lisa, Larry, the Gonzalez family is planning on opening their retail outlet in Clovis to better serve patients. Right now, their home delivery service allows them to serve around 150 people a week. But with a retail outlet, they expect to see about 350 to 500 patients regularly. I'm able to see a lot of people. I'm able to hear those stories that say, I've, I've been having multiple seizures a year, and since I've gotten my card, I don't have any. Mario Gonzalez and his father are the owners of a medical cannabis farm. They became licensed in 2010 and have been serving Eastern New Mexico since then. We were, uh, we were blessed to be one of the first nonprofit producers uh, to have a complete application. Uh, my father has a strong agricultural uh, background in ranching, as well as a large scale tomato greenhouse operation. Um, I have a strong understanding of the specialized care that cannabis requires. Uh, to attain that medical grade. Their business, Budding Hope, makes home deliveries to patients across the eastern part of the state. Typically we see about, I would say probably about 150 people a week. Now their business is taking a turn as they open a retail outlet in Clovis. They expect it to be ready by spring. Uh, Clovis is, uh, th there's a large concentration of patients. This, this ci the, the city of Clovis uh, uh, is, is underserved. Uh, there's really, some producers do come by, uh, I think once a month. Uh, we're here f with, with a regularity. Medical cannabis use is regulated by the state of New Mexico. The legislation was passed in 2007 under the Lynn and Aaron Compassionate Use Act. Some of the conditions that are approved for use are glaucoma, epilepsy, and multiple sclerosis. However, there are still strict regulations regarding medical cannabis they say have an effect on their patients. It's not so much those, the, the, uh, uh, the anti-cannabis sentiment, it's more about uh, the regulations that we're put under, the inability to serve patients as they should be served uh, due to a plant count of 150 currently. Clovis city officials say they didn't have much involvement in the retail outlet opening. The only input that the city would have is once the business uh, determines or establishes a location, then they're required to get a uh, business registration. Uh, from the city uh, uh, finance department, but all other licensing requirements and, and uh, uh, regulatory functions are handled by the state. In fact, they say they don't believe having a medical cannabis retail outlet will have much of an impact on the city. I don't anticipate that it would, no ma'am. And law enforcement says having medical cannabis around doesn't present many issues. We really haven't seen a whole lot of it here. There's been a few instances, um, but the ones that we've come across have been a legitimate uh, card holding marijuana, medical marijuana user. The Gonzalez family says they think opening the retail outlet will make a difference in the community. Especially in this, in this part of the state, uh, you get a lot of people that are, they don't use cannabis. They're not marijuana users. They're not users. They're not potheads. They're, they're, they're none of those things. Uh, they are, they're very normal people. They come from all walks of life. All individuals wanting to apply to be a licensed nonprofit producer must apply as a registered nonprofit business. Those proposals go through a strenuous review process. Gonzalez says there are hundreds of applications that don't get approved, which is why he and his father feel lucky to be one of the few producers in the state. Reporting in the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Adria Arahita, ABC 7 News.